one last thing is that don't let the enemy fool you that you're missing out on something. Right. You know? The enemy is like, hey man, like, are you sure that's what God said? Like, don't you, don't you want to just try it? That's yeah. 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 You know, I made, I, made a, I made a list. <laughs> I made a list. Pros and cons of sin. I made a list on, on Word and I printed it out and I put it in a, like a plastic sheet and I have it in my binder. Oh, let me borrow that, please. So, so, the, so the pro list is, what I put down was, uh, momentary comfort, relief, and pleasure. Momentary comfort, relief, and pleasure. Yeah, because listen, honestly, most of the sin that we engage in is just to drown out the pain. Let's be honest with ourselves, right? Like, the, the emotional pain that we have in life. Yeah. Right? Like, we have a hard day. Yeah. Someone hurt us. Someone let us down. We're yes. And... Amen. 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 Momentary <laughs> relief and pleasure. <laughs> and it's nice. More cupcakes. But, uh, so that was the that was the pro list. That's like what you get that's good from sin, right? Now, those are your three things. That's good. Then on the con list, which was the entire page, it was like loss of authority, loss of confidence, loss of peace, loss of joy, loss of boldness, damage to reputation, damage to legacy, damage to your spouse, damage to your kids, damage to your family, wow. damage to your ministry. It was like bam, boom, bam, boom, boom. <laughs> like, you know? So when you look at it like that, you're like, okay, momentary comfort, relief, and pleasure. Not even lasting, not even like, because the second it's over, you feel like, okay, well, I'm worthless. I'm like a total loser, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, right? Yeah. And you're like, it's just like deflate the balloon, right? It's like someone just popped the balloon, like all the air got let out, right? You feel like useless, you feel powerless, you feel ineffective, yeah. you feel like God doesn't love you, all, all, all of it, right? Yeah. Which that's not true either, because Satan would not only love to make you sin, but then he wants you to just wallow in your self-pity and stay down while yes. you're down. That's what he wants you to do. So what you got to do, you got to immediately recognize, okay, that was dumb, that was stupid, I shouldn't have done that, but hey, God forgives me, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You get right back up on the horse and keep going. Yes. Because you can't, the, the last thing that you need to do is stay in your self-pity party right. and stay on the ground. You know what I mean? you got to get right back up and yeah. say, I can do this, I got this, I'm going to try again. Um, you know, it says that the righteous man falls seven times and he gets up again. So you got to keep getting up. Yeah. So what you guys, what you got to see is this: when the enemy tries to lie to you and trick you into thinking that I'm missing out on something, you're like darn right I am. I'm missing out on my destiny. I'm missing out on hope and victory and blessing and authority and boldness. I'm missing out on being a good example to my family and my church and all these other things, right? So yeah, yeah darn right I'm missing out on something. <laughs> you're darn right saying yeah. I am missing out on something. <laughs> so the next time you're faced with that, you got to remember, you got to think to yourself, okay. Yeah, I'm missing out on momentary relief, pleasure, and comfort. Okay, big That's book. What I'm really missing out on, if I do this right now, is this whole list right here. All these things. Joy, peace, boldness, confidence, courage, authority, you know, victory. All these things that I work so hard for, all the things that I read my Bible for and pray for and worship for and talk about and, and hope to have. I'm just like, you know, sign that over. Like, here you go, Satan. Have it all. Boom. That's crazy. crazy, right? But it's so easy. It's so easy in the moment. That's all you see is the momentary comfort, relief, and pleasure. That's all you see is boom. You don't even see all of that, you know, that God has for you. You know? So just think of that list. If you want, I can print it out for you. But just think. Just think of that list and think about, you know, that is the biggest, fattest lie ever. That you're missing out on something. The only thing you're missing out on is the goodness of God. 